Hello, hello. Just trying to get something to stand my phone up. Oh, maybe this will work. Say hello once you've joined on. Welcome to Readings with Christy. Uh, here every Tuesday night, 7.15 to 8.15. Oh, here we go. There we go. Hi, Diane. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, everyone. Hey, Felicity. Hey, Kylie. Hey, guys. So we're going to do... Um, I've just got home, so I'm like, mm, didn't have time to do anything, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I just thought we'll do some mini readings as we do every week. Um, we'll use tarot, or oh, probably oracle or tarot cards, I'm not sure yet. Bit of both, maybe. Um, I've got my... Um, I put this on today, I think it was. Um, I don't know if you've seen, you know, Moldavite, if you've seen it before. Probably a lot of you know about it now, thanks to TikTok and the world's gone crazy with it. Um, but it's amazing. Just be careful what you wish for. That's all I'll say. Be careful what you wish for. But just before we start, I do want to let you know there's a link in the uh, description. If you haven't joined my group yet, please do if you feel you would like to. Um, it's all things spiritual. I've got a workshop coming up in July. Uh, I think it's on the 11th of July. It's an online um, workshop regarding crystals. Um, so if you want to learn more about what they do, how to use them, uh, what one's best for you and what you're needing, that's what we're doing. So um, we're going to be delving right into a lot of the crystals. So I would love for you to join. Um, and as I say, that's on my page if you um, pop on oh, my group. If you pop on over there, you'll see the event up the top. So um, yes, and I've got another piece too, I'll show you. I've got two bits of Moldavite. Uh, the other piece is um, is kept in here, so that's a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm sure you can now. Um, so that is 4.63 grams of it. This is a little bit smaller, but obviously um, in a necklace form, in a pendant form, so it's nice to have it on you. Um, but I do have another piece and the other bit that the other one that I love is this one So this is Libyan desert glass. That's pretty that's sort of like the feminine. It's like the sister to Moldavite It's not as full-on as Moldavite. So um, Yeah, Moldavite can be a bit full-on for a lot of people, especially, uh, you know, people that are very empathic definitely feel the wrath of uh, Moldavite um, I haven't come across that yet um, but I definitely I definitely know you get what you want when you wear it. So, yeah. Yes, I've heard of the Prophecy Stone, absolutely. I know a few people that have them. I don't myself, but yes, I do know a few people that have them and love them. So, we're going to do some readings, but as I say, if you haven't joined my group, please uh, feel free. What is the ring? Oh, this one is Kyanite. That is like a blue, even though you can't really see it. It's like a... Um, it's actually really pretty in the light. It's very um, translucent, but you can't see it on there. The other one is Peridot. So Peridot is beautiful as well. So for the heart chakra. Um, so yeah, so if you want to join the crystal workshop, I would love to have you there. It's not, I think it's on the 11th of July. So um, still plenty of time. All right, so let's do some readings. I'm just going to turn the heater off before I begin because it's right above me and it's bothering me already. So just bear with me a sec. about that guys oh dearie me um so yeah as i was saying the link is in the description so please join if you feel the pull to do so um oh, so i'm going to use a uh, i don't know which ones to use i'm just going to use whatever ones i'm drawn to and we'll see what comes up so all right let's see what comes up i'm just going to go to who i'm drawn to but if you haven't been 
um, chosen for a reading, please just keep asking. I will see your comment and do my best to get to as many as we can tonight. So that is always the aim. All right, so... I'm going to channel in for a second. Hang on, let me just relax a minute. Okay. Lisa Rose, can I connect with your guides? Oh, you might need to do that, Lisa. Have you ever done a meditation to connect with your guides? Hey, Tay Allen, how are you? Hey, lovely. All right, so I've got my kids out there crying and carrying on, so hopefully they'll sort it out. <laughs> Always when you're on the phone or you're doing something, isn't it? <laughs> That's okay. All right, Crystal Manuel, let's do one for you. Hey, Beck Morrow, how are you? Hey, Jenna. All right, Beck. Oh, sorry, Crystal. Crystal, what does Crystal need to know? Crystal. Oh, let's put both of those. Okay, so you've got the dragon. Discover your courage. So right now you're being asked to pull on some courage and really start to either make a decision or get in flow of what you need to do. So if you've been sitting back or if you haven't been doing what you're meant to do or you know there's something that needs to be done and it's like, I haven't been doing it, or there's a decision that needs to be made, this is giving you your courage. This is asking you to take your courage and do what you know you need to do. So it's dragon energy, it's fiery, it's like action-based, it's in your masculine. Um, so don't be scared to do what needs to be done, Crystal. It's like, you've got this. When you know what you're doing, you're great. Um, just don't doubt yourself. Don't question yourself about it. It's really about going forth, making a decision, backing yourself the whole way and going forth. The next one is the dolphin uh, card. So don't worry, be happy. This is a card of saying, you know, really sort of... Uh you know, not worrying too much about things. If you're so, you know, it's easier said than done, of course. I, I, I completely understand that. But what it's saying is, you know, life is too short. And, you know, if we worry about things too much, all that does is make us anxious, you know, uh, probably going to turn into illness and, and so forth. And it's just a revolving circle. So this is really about being much more happy. It's about seeing things from a different perspective. And it's having much more calm energy like the dolphin, right? So the dolphin's extremely calm energy. So it's just saying, take a few deep breaths. Just take that take those moments when you need them don't don't think that you've got to keep going or it's like i can't take those moments take the moments and the next one is battle of the blues so i don't know if this is for you or someone close to you but somebody may be struggling to get out of a bit of a a dip or a lull um and this is like that blue feeling that real you know i can't express myself i don't even know what's going on i just feel you know not like myself or i'm not in my my normal zone so it can feel really sort of confusing and out of sync out of zinc sink um, and it says take steps po forward for positive change. So you've got this, right? So it's like you've, you you will make, yeah, you got the star card. So angel of hope. So it's sort of like reflection on the past and move on into the future. So star card, letting go of stuff from the past, moving on into the future. Have hope no matter what, okay? So it's like don't give up on anything. Don't give up on yourself or anything else. This is also bringing up relationships or family. And it's saying, you know, if you are feeling like you're juggling a lot, it's time to slow it down a little bit. Um, and the next one is stress, carrying too much stress. So the nine, right? So it's like a lot of things coming to an end, having to... Uh, it's usually having to sort of deal with things or um, come to terms with some things and then sort of move forward. And that's not always easy. So it's just saying, let go of the stress, you know, gain courage, make decisions, go forward, be happy and really sort of <clears throat> allow yourself to slowly, gradually get out of this rut if you're feeling a little bit in a rut. Um, so I hope that makes sense for you, Crystal, and I wish you all the very best, um, of course, uh, for all you, that you've got to come in the future because this will pass. All right, this will pass. Um, I will say just be careful of someone's finger or toes. I've just seen like something get like cut. Um, so I don't know if it's like someone's fingers or toes, <clears throat> either stubbed or cut. I saw cut, um, but it's like the tip of the finger or toe that's sore. So just keep an eye on that for someone close to you as well, um, if that hasn't happened already. <sighs> okay. 
yeah, I just wanted to really take a deep breath. Uh, yeah, I feel like there might be a bit of anxiety going on for you, Crystal. But anyway, let's just... Okay. All right, so... Oh, accurate as always. Thanks, lovey. You're very, very welcome. Absolutely my pleasure. Um, Kat Rogers, let's do one for you. I want to say you're a very creative soul. Very creative. I don't know if you're doing much creation, but very creative. And I hear music too. So either you or someone you love, there's something about or someone you care for. It's, there's something um, for you or someone close to you, it's something about music being quite... Um, quite impactful so either listening playing uh anything like that but music is going to be really soothing and calming to your soul so if you need a little you know uh calm or you need a little bit to get back in your body music's a really great way to do that um and as i was saying at the start guys please feel free to join my group if you haven't already um the link is in the description it is a closed group but i will i will obviously do that when i finish um and let you in and um yeah there's also a workshop on the 11th of july regarding crystals so we do lots of workshops for intuition crystals um mediumship all of that sort of stuff tarot and, and so forth so if you would like to join this one in particular is about crystals so knowing which ones are best for you um or if you particularly want something it is like um you know we help find that one for you so you know it's a great a great great workshop so feel free to join okay so for you cat um oh hang on I was just trying to see something. I couldn't find it. It's okay. Um, so basically, uh, Kat, you got the world. So you've got success. So it's like overall is like success is going to be had, right? So it's like, you know, you are successful in all that you do. There is so much to be grateful for. This card only comes up when we have so much around us to be grateful for. And sometimes, you know, we can get clouded, but this is just reminding you, don't forget the great success you have and more yet to come. So the World Card's all about new journeys. It's about new beginnings. It's about, you know, moving forward. And it's like things, it's like everything's slow and then it's like boom, 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 boom. It's all happening. So, you know, it's sort of like a get ready card. It's like your journey's just about to really sort of, you know go forth so which is awesome uh and your next one is journey so interesting enough so journeys again so it's like you know new journeys await you so new things are on the horizon um so they're coming through and also that the uh death card okay so this is where things have to end um but as i always say the other side of that is that there's new things to come which is always a great thing and it's saying you know you're going through a little bit of a transformation and i want to say there's bits of the jigsaw puzzle sort of laying around and i want to sort of put it all together and i want to say it will come together so i want to say three months and you're going to be a lot more stable and a lot more secure in um you know things are going to look a little bit different so which is always good it's like things need to come to an end it's like i need to put an ending to something i also want to say you or someone close to you there's a little bit of healing from something in the past so um it just showed me uh past healing past healing um i don't want to necessarily say trauma but it's like something quite significant so um i just want to say somebody is is uh definitely needing to shift something from the past um the next one is dragonfly so live life to the fullest be spontaneous do things you want to do it's like get out there and and sort of you know spread your wings and fly um archangel raphael so this is where the where it comes in uh, so Raphael's all about healing, right? So it's all about um, healing the mind, body and the spirit. So it's like saying there is a little bit of healing that's needed. Um, and as I say, I felt like there was either for you or someone close to you that really needed to shift something from the past. Um, this could be something different, though. It could be two different uh, scenarios. Uh, the next one is originality. So blaze your own trail. It's like, don't be like anybody else. Don't try and keep up with the Joneses. Don't try and be anyone you're not. This is like, be your own person and absolutely blaze your trail. Leave your legacy. Do what you need to do. Um, I want to say you shift through the moon phases and it really, it, I don't know if it affects your energy or you've noticed, but it's telling me that the moon uh, phases definitely have an impact on your energy. Uh, the next one is new beginnings. So it's time to begin your new life. New things are on the way. So, you know, some really great cards. It, it doesn't mean that everything sunshine and lollipops but it definitely means there's some great things that are on the way so you know 
I would say just keep pushing forward and really sort of understand this is a transformation period and it's it's going to take time. So some patience and some hope and, um, you know, a bit of spontaneity and a bit of fun is not going to go astray. So that's what I would say to you, Kat. Um, yeah, and I don't know if you're into photography or you're getting photos taken, but I keep seeing photos um, as well. So whatever that means, that's coming up as well for you. So there you go. I hope that makes some sense to you. Um, Marlena, outcome. Would love to see if you see outcome of case. Oh, okay. I don't know a lot about that, Marlena. That's the only thing. Um, as in, I don't need all the details. What I mean is I don't know what I'm actually asking. Um, I can definitely pull some cards and see. Hey, Sally. Um, I can definitely pull some cards and see what comes up, but yeah, not knowing what you're actually wanting it for, um, it, it can be a little bit hard to sort of ask for that, um, the answers to come back to me. So, you know, that's the only part that, you know, if we want something specific, we need to ask specifically what we need. So, um, but I don't really want any of the details. It's more about, I just don't know if I'll be able to get a specific answer for you, but let's see what comes up. Oh, you're welcome, Kat. Thank you so much for your feedback. I really appreciate letting me read for you and I really appreciate your feedback as well. Oh my God, I feel a bit jittery, Marlena. I feel like I'm a bit, yeah, maybe this is all about, um, okay, so I'm asking about a court case. Okay, would love to just see what comes up. It's a court case. Okay, that's a little bit more information. Okay, I understand now. Okay, so just to ask, it's like, you know, what situation? I don't know what sort of outcome it's going to come up. But now that I know it's a court case, I will definitely ask. Um, I feel like I'm drawn to use a pendulum for this one, Marlene, um, just to get a, a little bit more of a accurate uh, answer for a specific question. Um, so we're reading for Marlena Strack. And I would like to ask if you could give me the answers to whether the outcome of the up and coming court case is going to be favorable. Yes. Is the court case that is coming up regarding Marlena Strack? Yes, I'll pull some cards for you as well, Marlena. Um, going to be favourable. just want to ask it again, just to double check. Yeah, it gets bigger. So the energy is, um, is definitely on the yes. It's not even wavering. So it's like a yes. So... Um, I don't know if somebody also, just let me know if anyone on here knows anyone. I kept having this spirit with me all day and usually they come through before I go and do a reading, um, but it came up after I'd finished work. So, um, and it was Matthew and he was very particular about saying, don't call me Matt. It's like Matthew, my mum liked to be liked me to be called Matthew or he liked to be called Matthew, but I heard mum. Um, so just keep an eye out if you know anyone that has passed. Um, I feel like this person is younger. Um, when I say younger, I mean 30 and under or around in his 30s or under. Um, and yeah, he's not here right now, um, but I did feel him earlier. So I'm interested to see if we can connect someone. Um, it'll be for someone. I just got to place it now. Um, okay, so that's, let's see, Marlena Strack. What does Marlena need to know? Marlena, 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 Marlena. So I hope that helps you, Marlena, but it does say yes. So the only other thing that I'm not specific about asking that I didn't, that I'm just thinking is, is it favourable for Marlena? So I may ask again afterwards um, and just see. So Marlena, um, because favourable outcome for whom? Um, let me know if it is regarding you or it is regarding someone else. Okay, Marlena. Okay. 
Oh, so you know it, Matthew Michelle. Okay, so Marlena, it's interesting because it came up when I was doing your reading that I just decided to ask it, so that makes a bit of sense. The fact that he hasn't passed, I'm wondering, is his mum in spirit or is there... Because I heard mum and I heard Matthew. There would either be a spirit trying to contact him and I'm going to try and connect with him. I'm going to ask him to come back in and see if we can get some more information. So um, court cases for husband. Okay. But if he loses, I lose him for life. Okay, right. Okay, let me ask again for you, Marlena. I will definitely do that um, because that's what I wanted to know is like, is it favourable for you or, oh, his mum just passed. Wow. Okay, that makes sense then. So interesting. Um, uh, okay, that didn't, that wasn't supposed to be like that. Um, okay, so let me just... Um, a couple of cards for you and then I will ask the pendulum again oh that one flew out so that's a definite message for you so that is um you know companionship with animals um so this is um Matthew and Wesley mum just passed in February wow there you go so isn't it interesting how the information comes through because I heard uh mum Matthew um gone too soon um, and please call me Matthew. <laughs> so he said some people might have called me, or so, I think he said some people called me Matt, but please call me Matthew or something to that regard, or my mum liked Matthew or something like that. Um, but he was very specific about telling me, Wesley is your husband. Okay, let me do that quickly before I read your card so that then we can keep going. So, okay. Okay. Called him Matt, Matt. Okay, I wonder why he asked me to say Matthew. Did his mum call him Matthew or did... I don't know. There's something about... He said, please call me Matthew. Um, well, that's what I heard. I don't think it was Matt, Matt. I think it was Matthew. Um, but anyway, that's okay. Um, so let me turn this around. Um, okay, so the court case for Wesley, which is Marlena Strack's husband... Their court, his court case in September, will it be a favourable outcome for him? Will it be favourable for Wesley? It's a yes. So, everyone else called him Matt, mate. Isn't that funny? I don't know. I'm sure he said Matthew. Like, make sure you call me Matthew. Um... Maybe if I said Matt, there'd be too many people. I don't know, but it's Matthew. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not sure why. I can only give you what what he gave me. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, let me see. Marlena, that was an absolute yes. So, just so that you know. Um, and the next one is Queen of Cups. So, sensitivity. So, it's saying you might feel a bit sensitive or a little bit uh, vulnerable at the moment. So, you know, whether this has got to do with that or not, it's like, you know, this is when we feel like, you know, and what you just said, like feeling like you're going to lose something important to you or someone that's important to you. And it can really bring a lot of doubt and sensitivity into our into our um into our system what i would say to you is try i know this is easier said than done but it's like try to try and keep as positive as you can so um don't allow yourself to be in that vulnerable state for too long now vulnerability is fine it is absolutely amazing to be in a vulnerable state not in vulnerable not in vulnerability when worried though okay so what i'm trying to say to you is you've got to stand up and be the queen it's like support it's like i want to be the pillar of strength for someone or for myself um so this is what it's trying to say to you is stand up queen you've got this yeah you have sensitivity that's not going to go away in an instant but what you can do is take take some steps or do some little things just to move forward or move out of that flow um and get into a new flow so it's like okay i'm now positive i'm now i Okay, I know things are going to be okay. And it's really trusting the process. The next one is uh, the five of pentacles, which is isolation. So isolating oneself, either holding back on what we want to say or feel, or we isolate ourselves physically. So uh, I know we're here in Melbourne, we get uh, this card comes up a lot in COVID. Um, but in this case, it's about family. So the five to me is all about stability and family. So worrying about stability and worrying about family. Um, and isolation so it's like I go into my little cocoon I try to sort of just hold it all in and and, and try to keep as strong as possible um, but the next one is angel of success so your overall card is there's a new journey there but it's like this is success this is like a good card to get um, which is great so 
you know, they all make sense, I think. Um, the next one is animal bonds. So just, you know, uh, connecting with animals, connecting with children, connecting with people that or things that make you have fun or just get you back in a childlike state is going to be a great way to sort of uh, relieve yourself from the worry or stress that you're carrying. Battle of the Blues, so take steps towards positive change. So again, that card's come up. So it's like, you know, might be in a bit of a lull, which I was saying like that vulnerability and feeling a little bit worried or sadness. And it's like, it's time to come out of that now. It's like that cocoon is now, you know, being broken open and it's really time to sort of come out of that. And then next one is Peacock. So raise your standards, raise what you're willing to accept, raise what you're willing to. If you've got questions about things, ask them. Like it's time to stand up and be strong and raise your standards of what you expect from yourself and from others, okay? So it's like, you know, it, it's like showing true colors. It's like, um, you know, showing true colors of oneself. Um, so it's like, you know, yeah, it, it, it's a hard card to sort of read, but it's like, you know, um, showing our true colours. So it can be someone that's going through a few mood swings or just going, feeling a little bit up and down. Um, and the other side of it is, um, you know, staying in compassion when someone is doing that around you. So I hope that makes sense. Um, oh, I hope that makes sense for you and let go of the control. Okay, so that flew out as well. So it's like when you can't control something, it can be really hard. Um, and I want to say there's more more than just you that you're worried about as well. So it's like, um, you know, it might be children or people around you or family, but it's like there's more than one person that's impacted through this. So, um, you know, it's pillar of strength, positive thoughts, and really trying to get yourself back on track. That's what I would say until September because you've got your outcome there. So I hope that helps you, Marlena. I really do. And I wish you all the very best of luck. I really, really do. So hope that brought you some sort of clarity and gave you some sort of answers. And thank you for letting me read for you. Yep, small babies. That's what I felt as well, Marlena. But I, yeah, I didn't want to specify and um, put it all out there. I just thought I'd let you know that I did know there was more than one person that you were worried about and more than one person that would influence such as children or family. So makes complete sense. <laughs> all right. So, Nay Holden, let me do one for you. Um, And if Matt comes through, I'll definitely let you know, but, or Matthew, he doesn't want me to call him Matt, so that's fine. I think it was not to call him Matt or just to call him Matthew. I can't remember if he told, if he said, don't call me Matt or whether he just said, please call me Matthew. Um, but either way, uh, just know that um, he did come through today and he was here for a very, very long time. Um, so, but I can't feel him at this moment, but I have a lot of people here. So it's, uh, not always easy if they're not at the forefront of that. Um, so yeah. Okay. So you've got angel of blessings. It's saying that you've got the key. You just haven't found the door. So it's like missing part of the puzzle. It's like, you know, I have the keys, but if I don't have the door, the keys are useless, right? So it's, you know, but you do get the angel of success. So there is something coming and I feel like there's a job, um, or something in, in regards to a job that is going to be uh, significant and going to bring joy. Uh, there's something about celebrating for someone else, uh, good news coming for someone close to you. And it's saying, learn to let go. So lots of letting go. So this is all about your your solar plexus and your sacral chakra, mainly your solar plexus. Um, so your lower belly nay. So just keep an eye on that lower belly, right? So any bloating, digestive issues, um, anything going on in that region, really important to sort of uh, understand what that is and realize that that's emotions you're holding or stuffing into your body. So you want to try and let them go as best as you can, whether it be through Reiki, healings, um, you know, some deep breathing and some, you know, um, guided meditation, whatever it is is uh, really important that you know you acknowledge what it is and, and let it go when it comes up uh, the next one is raise your standards so for you in particular this is about letting go and raising your standards about what you're willing to accept from this point on so really important that the peacock allows you um, to show your true colors to see the true colors of others and then move on and raise your standards so whether this is relationships friendships or otherwise, it is time to really sort of raise your standards to what you expect and what you deserve. The next one is Angel of Miracles.
miracles. So it's open your heart and expect a miracle. So something feels unfixable or feels like it'll never, um, you know, be okay. But this is actually saying there is some positive news behind it all. Um, and I don't know if someone's uh, pregnant or wanting to get pregnant, but there is also something about uh, starting a family and uh, miracles are on their way. So I don't know if that's for you or someone close to you, Nay, but I want to say that's there. Uh, the next one is competition. So I don't know if someone's competing with you or you feel in competition to others. Um, you know, it's not about keeping up with others. It's about really running your own race. And this is saying summon your courage and self-confidence. Again, it goes back to the solar plexus um, and really important you get that that fierce energy back okay because you're going to need it someone's uh, i want to say someone's not been doing the right thing or someone's not done the right thing by you and, and i don't know if you feel the betrayal um but that's sort of the word that comes up for me uh, the next one is determination so let things that have gone be gone this is saying be determined to get back on the horse and see what else is yet to come don't worry about all the past stuff it's like you know it's time to be determined to move on and get into the flow of the future rather than get stuck in the past so i want to say and i don't know if you've got some trust issues coming up but that's what's also coming up so you or someone close to you may have some trust issues going on so it's saying you know it's time to learn to trust it's trying to uh, time to open your heart and learn to trust uh you know your intuition your gut feelings hey nick how are you um so i hope that helps you know i think that you're going to be fine i think you've just got to um you know make a few adjustments and some changes and i think that you'll be yeah you'll see a lot of positive changes come in so it tells me there's lots of success and lots to be happy about um you just got to clear that fog so you can actually see what that is and what that means for you so i hope that makes sense Oh, Jenna Voss, well, I want to know if my dad's estate will be sorted soon. Let's see. All right. Okay. Okay, Jenna. Will Jenna's dad's estate be sorted soon? You're so welcome, Nay. Thank you so much. Love your feedback. Thank you. Jenna, will her dad's estate be sorted soon? It's given me an unknown. Either you're not meant to know or we're going to have to... Will it be sorted within the next three months? Will it be sorted in the next six months? Just says within the next six months. So I don't know if that's what you term as soon. Um, it is slow moving, so it means that it's not something that's going to be fast paced or something that's going to happen um, quite soon. It is something that is, you know, it, it, it's a process basically. Um, so yeah, there, there's definitely some. Uh, some patience is going to be required, Jenna. Um, so I hope that helps you. Um, yes, I'm waiting to hear back about a new job. Awesome. I had, I've had a stomach issue, bloating, pain and trust issues. When I have another baby and I'm very much being betrayed. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, Nay. I'm really sorry, um, you know, that you've got some stuff going on. But I feel like you're a fighter. I feel like you land on your feet. I feel like you've got... All you're lacking is that courage, that strength, that fierceness that you so dearly own. It's just tucked down in your belly so far down. It just keeps bloating every time you need it. Um, so it's time to call that back on. I want to say put on your suit of armor and get, you know, going to where you're going. Like, you know, do what you need to do. So I hope that helps you, lovely. Um, and I hope that helps you too, Jenna. So it's like it just says in the next six months. So I'm not sure what you classify as soon, um, but that is what's coming up. And as I say, it's going to require some patience. Um, yeah, unfortunately, sometimes it's, you know, the worst thing is the waiting, the time. Um, um, Sally Lee, let's do one for you. Yeah, Kim, do you know someone that's got the shakes? I want to say, um, hang on. 
Does someone around you have bowel issues, Kim, like Crohn's or IBS or something similar to that? I keep getting something in the stomach and it's something to do with like, it shows me like a digestive tract. So either bowel or stomach. Um, mm, don't know. So you got the gossip card, Sally. Um, so what this means is that others around you may be gossiping um, or you may hear some, oh yes, Kim, okay, wow, well, okay. I'll try and come back to you when I finish this and we'll see. Um, been very difficult yeah jenna oh, sorry about that that's really um hard isn't it but you know what the long haul's over so hopefully we're on the page or you're on the way um to really seeing this come to an end so give it six months and see how you go as i say it was slow moving so i don't know if it's you know right before six months or after six months but yeah the ba the best way it can tell me is six months so hopefully you know there's not too much longer to go um, yeah, so Sally, this is about gossip. So I don't know if you've heard something you don't like or someone's talking about others that you don't like or this can be don't believe everything that you're being told. Just because someone says it's true doesn't mean it is or just because someone said this is the best way doesn't mean it is. So this is about going with your gut. This is about really tuning into your uh, your inner wisdom, your knowledge and what you, you know, what you feel. Um, you know, it's really, a, it's take a back seat and look, it's, it's an observing card, right? So take a look back and observe and go with what you know um so this is like you know don't get caught up in it don't get too involved in it but just step back and observe so you can find the answers that you need the next one is a nine of cups so this is all about blessings this is about things that are going to come true um and this can be you know job family um love life uh you know uh, anything that you know it, it could be in all areas of our life but it's usually those main areas this is sort of like you know heartaches are coming to an end blessings are about to begin so it's like um something's about to sort of uh be stopped it's like you know um let's just put it this way if somebody was say trying for a baby um it's like that ends now like the trying the trying stops and it actually eventuates um if somebody's been trying to look for a home it's like that stops and it's like things eventuate so just know there's some really beautiful blessings coming your way um archangel gabriel so it's about creativity and hope so this is about um taking a risk with something you love so anything you're passionate about time to sort of go in that direction um do you know someone that has a hairdressers or a beauty like i keep seeing like a little salon thing a little salon shop um and they're telling me that someone's about to give up or they're they're, they're i don't know if it's about staff or money or but there's something about i'm not sure i want to keep doing this and i want to say to that person they need to keep doing it but there's another way to do it it's like don't keep doing the same thing and, try and expect different results um so i don't know it's a little shop but yeah i don't know if it's a salon but that's what i sort of see but it's a it's a small small business um but anyway at, at the end of the day it's like creativity and hope so just keep all that uh, available um gratitude be really grateful for everything you have um and it's like you know know that you know, there's so much to be grateful for. Uh, yep, hun. Wow, you're amazing. I'll message you later with validation of your reading. My sister was a hairdresser. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Thank you so much for your feedback. Love it. I'll, I'll keep doing the last two cards for you, though, but I'd love to love for you to message me and let me know. Um, so this is like being grateful for all you have. It's like not getting caught up in the idea of what we think we want. It's about being grateful for what we do have. The next one is leadership. So setting your goals. So it's like, you know, really important that you take a leadership role, whether that's management, um, owning your own business. Um, you know, you have to, you're a great leader. You're a great leader. You can supervise well. You can do things well. You can teach people well. And those leadership uh, goals that you will set yourself are going to be achieved and it's going to bring you so much more joy. And there is such a sense of like, oh, I want to say like the angels are singing, you know, that, oh, um, and it is it's like that it's like oh thank god like it's all happening um, and it's like set your goals so don't be scared to set them high either so it's like don't just set little goals that you you know you know are possible it's like what can I push myself to what can I stretch myself to um, I need to be pushed at this time so Sally you can achieve more than you think you can so set your goals and make them a little bit bigger than what you thought and um, yeah you'll find that you can actually achieve those quite nicely so thank you for letting me read for you Sally Uh, Gina, uh, Jania, is it Jan Jania? Is that how you say it? 
Jenea, maybe? Jinea or Jenea? <laughs> I don't know how I'm saying it, if I'm doing it right. You've got action. Oh, you're so welcome, Sally. Thank you for letting me read for you. Um, it is Jenea, I'm hoping. Because I, now I said two different things. I don't know which one's right. But I'm going to go with Jenea. Please, you know, if that's not right, I am sorry. But, you know, it's all said with good intentions. My pronunciations, you know, can sometimes be a little bit. But. All right. So, but you've got action. So you're really good at taking action. Oh, yes, again. Okay. So we're going with Jenea. Um, you're really good at taking action and you're very good at making things happen. Right. So it's like, you know, when something needs to be done, it's like, let me do it. I know it'll get done then. So it's very important that, you know, you continue to do that. And this is telling me that there's something yet to be done or there's something that still um, awaits you to get done. So this is like Knight of Wands is all about, you know, uh, taking that role and really sort of actioning something. It's like tying up all loose ends, getting things sorted and, you know, getting things done. It's not just about thinking about it or saying you'll do it and not do it. You're one of action. So if you're not doing that, action it'll weigh heavily on your shoulders if you don't get it done um, so really important you action 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 your next one is six of cups so this is all about communication and conversation and it's about um, you know feeling a lack of support or needing a little bit more support but either way speaking up and asking for what you need the next one is generosity so the six of pentacles says so that you've got a very big heart and you're extremely generous with, you know, your time, money or energy. Um, but either way, people are attracted to your energy and you've got a great, you know, uh, you know, sense of uh, integrity, but also like very generous, big heart. And people don't always see that first off with you, I don't think, Janine. I think people see a facade and it's like when people get to know you, they're like, oh my God, I didn't even realise that you were like this. Or, you know, I didn't think we were going to get on as well or whatever the case is. But it's like, you know, looks can be deceiving as well. So, and then you've got love. So Ace of Cups is all about, um, you know, self-love and self-discovery, but it also is sharing that with others. Um, but this is like get getting ourselves right first. So it's like, you know, uh, letting you know that, you know, speak up about what your needs are or what your requirements are because, you know, love is important uh, and we need to start first start our relationship with ourselves. And this is saying, you know, it's really interesting that, you know, once we do that, the love that we can give and receive from others is so much greater than we'll ever, you know, ever imagined. So this is like love. So it's like big heart, big love. Um, the next one is letting go. So there's something in the past that is holding you back a little bit um, or something that you haven't yet let go of. So, you know, this can be, you know, a friendship or a betrayal or um, something that's happened in the past that you just, you know, is sort of not bringing up every day, but it's sort of still lingering. Um, the next one is friendship. So make sure you nurture your, your relationships and friendships are everything to you. But if you don't do the right thing and you lie to me, then I'm cutting you out. You're gone. Like, I need to let you go. Um, not that that's, you know, uh, it's easy for you, but it's not because you've got a big heart. You want to understand why people do what they do. This is saying, you know, not everyone's going to do the same thing you want them to do. But overall, you value your friendships and your relationships very much. And then you've got Archangel Gabriel. So messenger of creativity and hope. So it's saying, you know, there's something, there's a passion there that you haven't yet explored or you haven't taken it to the heights it needs to go to. So um, this can be with family, business, uh, love, whatever it is, it's saying you might be holding back a little and it's saying, you know, take a little risk and do what makes you happy. There's a sense of, um, you know, mm, I want to say like, you know, time hasn't run out or there's still time, like there's plenty of time left. It's like, I don't know if you worry about time or you feel like the timing's not right or there's something, but it's saying the timing is perfect. So yeah, and you have plenty of time. So I hope that makes sense. Um, okay. Uh, nay, there's not a recording of it, but it will be posted on the spiritual directory page. So you can listen back to it at any time. You just go into um, the readings. I, I don't know if you see what I see, but it's got all the videos. Um, and then it'll like you can go down to readings with Christy and it'll have all my videos. Um, or you can just do a search for readings with Christy and it should bring up all my videos and you just listen back to this one. So hopefully that um, that helps you. Is there something going on, Jania? I just I keep getting mum, and then I got 
dad. Um, and I got something about feeling unsteady on my feet. Um, so I'm not sure. And I want to say like my, my lungs feel very tired. Um, like my breathing has gone very shallow. Um, have you got a male, a younger male in spirit um, as well? Someone who was very, um, uh, very alpha male, very like, um, very protective, very like, I keep getting the sense of like, I'll, I'll like kill you if you hurt them like that. Ugh. Um, but yeah, I keep getting mum, dad, unsteady on my feet, worried, wanting to catch her or catch, yeah, catch her maybe, catch her before she falls. There's something about dad, like dad's not being himself. Um, or dad, something about, oh my gosh, I can't work out what they're trying to say. Um, but I'm getting all these different things through. But it's like, um, yeah, and I keep seeing like coffee and Carlton and cafes and oh, I keep getting all this stuff through. Keep seeing a cross. I don't know if it's rosary beads or something on a cross on something. Um, Oh gosh, lots of lots of stuff. My has passed. Is that my dad has passed? I think that's supposed to be my dad has passed. Um, was there something about him being very quiet and very strict? Did something was there something with his breathing or did you, did someone watch his chest? There's something about someone's chest and it's just like and then it's like not. Um Very stubborn. I keep getting stubborn. Very independently stubborn. I'm not sure if any of this is making sense to you, Janae. I'm just getting lots of things through and I'm trying to decipher what I should bring through and what I shouldn't because it's a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that can give you some sort of uh, knowledge to just saying worry for mum, unsteady on her feet. Dad's like, dad's fine, but it's like, I don't know if dad's worried about mum or you're worried about mum. Um, yeah, and then I see a, a, a young male that comes through and it's like very protective. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. And I keep seeing like sore, like my head, my head, my head. But it's like my body gave up, right? So I feel like it was like... I don't know if it was like, it wasn't like quick. It wasn't like a heart attack or a stroke. It feels like it was more like disease. So like a cancer or I don't know what else it could have been. Maybe a cancer, but it's like it started off and it's like, it just sort of spread. It was like, you know, my body just gave up. And I want to say someone needs to watch their uh, sugar levels because I keep wanting to prick my finger oh he did have cancer okay sounds like my mum okay all right just watch out I don't know if somebody knows they have diabetes or they're showing me someone does have diabetes or someone needs to keep an eye out um, because I just see a prick on the finger your dad had cancer okay I understand right okay um yeah, prick on the finger. So just know that that came up as well. Um, and I just keep seeing like doilies, glass table. Uh, like they're showing me so much, like uh, lots of like furniture and house and oh, all this stuff. But anyway, I'll keep going because I have to keep going. But yeah, I've got lots of stuff through. And I think that, yeah, they're definitely uh, wanting me to connect with you and just let you know that, you know, you're doing a great job. They say you're such, you're so strong. Um, so strong. She's so strong. Um cares for everybody um yeah so 
they just they just wanted to come through. I, I think your dad just wanted to come through and let you know um, that he was watching over you and your mum. So especially, but uh, I keep getting like mum. So I think it. it mm. He says she'll never believe it's me. Um, but anyway, I hope that makes some sense to you, Jania. Thank you for letting me read for you. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough time to bring it all through. But please know you. You, you know. Definitely your dad wanted to come through to let you know he was going to watch over um, your mum and obviously you as well, I'm sure. Um, he just said, I'll watch over her. Um, okay, so... Megs Levine, let's do a card for you. And feel free to share the video, guys. Please feel free to share um, the video. And obviously, for those that have just joined, uh, please feel free to join my group. Um, the link is in the description of this video, so feel free to join. Um, also doing a crystal workshop on the 11th of July. So if you feel um, you want to join that and see how the crystals can help you and, you know, identifying them and, and, and really sort of deciding which ones we need and what they can do for us. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a cool little online workshop. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. So it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Always is. All right, Megs, 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 Megs. I don't know if someone's going to tell me on here, but I keep getting someone, someone who's been through hell, and there's something about someone broke my cheekbone or hurt my cheekbone. Um, I keep getting like, he nearly killed me. He nearly killed me. Um, I don't know who, I don't know if this is you, Megs, or someone else, but um, I just keep getting up. He nearly killed me. Um, oh, it's making me feel quite ill. Oh, okay, let's just try and move on, shall we? Um, okay, so for you, Megs, I've got enlightenment. So pursue spiritual growth. So just like I was saying, when I'm doing a crystal workshop, anything you see that tickles your fancy or that really sort of uh, grabs your attention in regards to spirituality, it's time to really do that. Um, so really important to, you know, keep going on your spiritual growth, your spiritual pursuit, your keep growing. Like we never stop learning. We never, ever stop learning. And it really is sort of saying that, um, you know, it's a great thing to, you know, bring into light that, oh, I just think you've got, you could do great things. You could do really great things when you just continually learn and you, you just keep allowing yourself to keep growing. So allow yourself the enlightenment that's coming. So that, that's going to be really important. The next one is competition. So if someone competes with you or they copy you or there's something going on with, you know, a bit of, you know, healthy competition is fine, but it's like when it gets unhealthy, it can be a bit like, uh. um, so I don't know if this is for you or a loved one, but competition comes up and it says, you know, I don't know if you're feeling a bit low on courage and self-confidence. And I want to say, I keep getting like, I want to run and hide away. Thank you. Um, but yeah, there's something about don't let the competition get to you or don't don't get too involved in the competition and then unicorn invite serendipity in so it's like you know believe in the unbelievable right so keep faith when it's you know it, it doesn't seem like you should um or it doesn't seem possible it's like keep the keep the magic alive there is magic in everything the next one is a ten of pentacles so it's saying you might need a little support or you've needed support along the way and it's like um this is about growth. This is about internal and external growth. Um, and it's also about increasing income. So um, either, you know, it can be a, a job promotion, a new job, or some sort of gift of money coming, unexpected money coming in. So that's there as well. The five of wands is tests. This can be, this can be medical, um, or it can be uh, academic or otherwise, and it's for someone uh, within the family. So it's the five is all about stability and family. Um, so either it can be for you or someone in the family, and it causes um, some great stability. So it allows somebody to feel a lot more stable. And then the two of pentacles. So it's like juggling a lot at the moment. So 
I don't know if you feel like you're juggling or you're trying to do a lot. Um, it's like sometimes we try to do so much and we, we achieve not a lot. So this is really saying, you know, don't try not to do too much. Um, try to tick off a couple of things on it. Try to do a list and tick off another couple of, um, just a couple of them. And make sure they're fully achieved. It's like not trying to do 10 things at once that you can't get everything done doing those two things and finishing them and completing them will feel really good, but it's time to get organized. If you're not already organized, this is organized, tick, plan and, and achieve. So, um, you know, it's a really great way to say, just, you know, try not to juggle too much. Um, this can be emotionally or physically. Um, it's just saying, you know, don't, don't put too much on yourself or too much pressure on yourself. So I hope that makes um, a little bit of sense for you, Meg. Thank you for letting me read for you as well. Um, da -da 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 -da. Kath Warren. All oh, right, Michelle. Wow, Christy, my dad's passed of emphysema, and my my mum, my mum's not well. Mum broke my dad's tree. Oh my gosh, that is so interesting. Wow, Michelle. I wonder if there's um. Yeah, I wonder if that's a, a message for you. You know, there can be many messages in, in what comes through as well. Like you never, you know, if it does feel right and it does feel like it's for you and, and it all sort of makes sense, I don't mean, you know, like if somebody says to me, oh, do you mean this? I'll be like, no. I'm not one to just go, yeah, yeah, that, yeah if that makes sense to you, let's just run with it. No, I have to give you everything I get. And everything you've said there is everything I just said. So um, I definitely feel like there's... Um, a message there for you so and this is a problem with doing it with such you know quite a few people on here is that you know lots of people try to come through and it can become a little bit muddled at times so you know you're trying to place the right information to the right person and then somebody else comes through and it's like oh it can get a little bit hectic so please 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 you know if you I mean I know if it was me I'd definitely be taking a message out of that for sure so Okay, so Kathy, you got the four of swords. So there's something about healing, either physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Um, the four of swords all about, you know, um, trying to move forward um, from something in our, in, in our past, and it's like uh, needing to do some healing. So, you know, if we've gone through, this is like when somebody goes through an operation or they've been feeling unwell, it's like rest and recuperate sort of thing. So there's a healing process, and this is saying, make sure you're really honoring that. Um, the next one is a magician. So it's all about like, not all, not all is what it seems. Um, this is sort of like the trickery card, but it is also on the other side of that card, it means believe in magic, magic is around. And this is pennies are going to fill up your cup so there's things coming through that you don't know about so it is a beautiful card but it is also a card to say not um not all is what it seems so just just know that so it's like you know sometimes we think this is going to happen and we're 100% and it's like oh that took a left turn like, like today for instance right I went I was supposed to go to the dentist um and this afternoon and I, I like went there and I was like I don't feel like I'm going to the dentist I'm like I'm not cancelling I'm going and I went and I'm like, God, I was wrong. Like, I really didn't feel like I was going to the dentist today. And I don't know why. Like, I booked it. It had already been cancelled twice due to other reasons, um, COVID and my car broke down. Um, and then this is the third time. And I'm like, why don't I feel like I'm going? I just don't feel like I'm going to go. And driving to the dentist, I go in the dentist, I'm talking away to the receptionist for about 20 minutes. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I must have been wrong. Like, Oh my God, why did I think I wasn't coming to the dentist? Like, ugh. Anyway, then there's a, someone's having an emergency or it's taking a lot longer and they're like, can we reschedule this? Do you mind? And I'm like, no, that's fine. So now I've got to go on Saturday, but hence why I said, like I started to doubt my intuition then, right? So it's like, even though I thought I was going to the dentist, even though I was sitting in the dentist's office waiting to be seen, it didn't happen. And yet I still sat there and doubted my ability to understand what information was coming through. So that's what I'm trying to say by not all is what it seems it is. So just because we think something's going to happen, don't be 100% set on it. So it's like just prepare for something changing or something being different. Stay open to it so it's not such a big shock or a big surprise. Um, but the other side of it is there's magic to it. So it's like things are going to, you know, eventuate. It's like, you know, the... 
it's like an eventuation card. It's like things eventuate. So it's a good card, but it's also the other side of it is just be prepared for not everything to go as planned. And the last card is the Angel of Happiness, so the Sun card. So you've got some really great things coming through, Kathy. Um, so I want to say that there's some, yeah, I, I feel like there's some, uh, overall, it's got some great news coming, which is which is absolutely awesome. And there's something that brings you great happiness. Um, Angel of Blessing, so this can be in the way of children, grandchildren, um, you know, um, any sort of blessings, anything that we're, we're, we're truly grateful for, love, uh, relationships, things like that. So this is saying like things are going in the right direction. There's also something about learning or studying something new for you or someone close to you. Um, so that's a really good card for stu further study or further learning. And the next one is loss. So getting over something, someone either in the family or someone um, may have passed in the family, but there is something about loss within the family um so it can be a family member like you might be grieving over a family member or a family member may be going through a hard time through loss now this can be someone that's passed over it can be a relationship breakdown um you know anything like that so you know feeling the loss or the wrath of relationships or losing someone and then the next one is discover your courage so you know it's just about you finding yourself again you may feel a bit lost or you may feel like you're not yourself and this is just saying it's just courage that's missing you'll get it back you'll be fine absolutely fine um but thank you for joining everyone i hope that made some sense for you kathy um and i just want to say like really really appreciate um you know uh everybody joining and i want to say i'm here every tuesday 7 15 to 8 15 um but it does have um in the um in the description the link to my group i do lots of mini readings in there i'm about to go in and do a sound healing and some readings in there um in a minute um about 8 30 so if you want to join please do i will let you in it's a closed group but i will approve it once i hop off here um yeah, we do like mediumship stuff in there and lots of different things, workshops and, and so forth. Um, like I said, I've got a crystal workshop on the 11th of July online. So you can be in the comfort of your own home, learn about the crystals. What better way to spend a Sunday afternoon? I don't know any better way. Um, but other than that, thanks for joining, guys. Really appreciate you, your support and your feedback. And I really, really hope the week ahead and every day ahead goes really well for you. And when it doesn't, rise above. Mwah. Sending lots of love. Bye, guys.